Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study another aspect of technical drawing, which is enlargement. Where we are going to be enlarging this figure, right? So when you say the word enlargement, you are trying to increase, zoom the object. Is that taken? So first of all, we need to reproduce this diagram. Now, if you look at the diagram very well, it's giving some dimension, right? To say that the height of this figure is, let me say, the height from point A here, right? From this point A here, up here is what? 50 meter, 50 millimeter. Then from here to here is 30 millimeter. Now, first of all, you draw horizontal line and what a vertical line like this you draw an horizontal line like this you can see that and also you're going to be drawing a vertical line also like this At this point here now if you look at this very well now we have a point here and I'll call that my point point A is that taken? I'll call that my point point A where I'm going to start drawing this object which is this now if you look at this object very well the height from here to here so this is my beginning height from here to here is what look at it that is 50 millimeter right so i'm drawing my 50 millimeter now i'll take my meter rule and i'm going to measure 50 millimeter with my meter rule so place your rule at this beginning starting point put zero there is a point zero right and up this is 50 this is my 50 millimeter and in that I'm going to take in it right now the next thing is if you look at this from here which is the height of 50 to your left is what 30 millimeter this guy is 30 and i'll take my t square i'll move it to that point where i'll just draw an horizontal line this way All right and i'm going to measure 50 from the big i mean 30 from the beginning here so this is my my meter rule two this is 30 from zero to this point is 30 so i'll mark my 30 and doing that i am going to take in it 30. i see that now the next thing is <coughs> if you look at this particular guy here from this point to this point here is five so with the help of my c square and t square i'll move it to that point five that to the end of this point I'll draw a faint line downward like this and I'll measure 5 there. So if I take my meter rule from the beginning from here to this point here is what? It's 5. And I'm going to take in it. Right? So that is 5. Now the next one we're doing is this guy here. If you look at this very well. From this point to this point here is another 5. So I'm going to take it in like this. Just faint line first. And I'll measure 5 inward. So 5 inward from here is 0. Can you see that? Let me zoom it. Is that not talking about? So I'll measure from here. See it at this point. Now taking it, that is another five. Now the next thing I'm going to do 
Okay, there's no card diagram again. We are going to the base. From this base here to this point, from here to here is five. And I'm going to measure another five. Inward from A here. So if I place it at three, take it inward, this is five. Right? And I'm going to take it to that point. See that now I'll take my C square, take it to that point where I'm going to just take a faint line and take it up. Faint line. Now, if you look at it from this point here, which is this point here, I'll measure 15 upward. So, with the help of my meter rule, I'm going to measure 15 upward. So from 1 to this point, is 15, from 0 to here is 15, and I'm going to take in it, right, now the next thing I'll do is, if you look at it, <clears throat> this is coming in outward, that is to this point here, and if from here to here is 10, from here to this point, which is this point, from here to here, is 10 and if you remove this 5 from 10 to reward 5 so I'll take 5 inward also so from this 15 I'll take it inward hit line first then I'll measure my 5 so I'll measure my 5 here so at this point here this will be 5 can you see that so I'm going to drink it here can you see that now the next thing, if you look at this now, I'm taking it up, but what I'll do here is, I'm going to take my compass, right, I'll place it at the end here, this end here, and um, I'll take it to this beginning of this line here, and I'll draw a front line this way first, I'll draw what, a front line to that point here, this front line. Now in doing that, I'll take my metal, my t, ses, my t square, place my set square on it, and this point where I measured another five, I'm going to move it up to touch this guy. So if I've done that, that means I will not take in this guy here. I'll take in this guy here because I've gotten what I want. Two. I have successfully reproduced this shape. Is that again? Now what I will do is I want to enlarge, I want to zoom it right on a plane figure. So what I will do is this. What I will do is this. I'm going to project all this edge to touch this vertical line here. Faint line, right? So I'll project this or this edge. This point here, I'll project it with my faint line to touch here. This also, I'll project my faint line to touch here. And this also, I'll project my faint line to touch here. These are the points I'm projecting. Now, I'm going to choose a point from here. I'll just any at any point at this line here, I'll choose a point. Let me say point what? Point P. Right? From this point P, I will draw a radial line that will pass through this point I extended here. And I use my metal root from P. I will draw my line to pass through the highest point here, which is this. You can see that? Let me take it down a little bit so you see what I'm talking about right so from p also i'll draw another line that will pass through here too you see from p also i'll draw another line that will pass through here too from p also i'll draw another line to pass through the other point here From P2 to this is what we have. 
I hope you can see that. Now, the next thing I'll do is all this edge here. First of all, at this point A, right? I'm going to place my compass at the end of A here, this point, and I'll extend it to this point here, which is five millimeter, and I'll draw an arc this way. I'll draw an arc this way. I'll draw an arc this way. Place it at A. Take it to the end point here. Can you see? Then I'll draw this this way. Faint line. Can you see that? Now, I'm going to use my set square. And at this point, I'm going to project them down. So I'm doing that to this point. I'll project this down. Right? To the next point here too. I'll project it down. To the next point too. I'm using a faint line. I'm going to project it down. Is that again? Now, this point I draw an arc here. I'll call it to be my A1. I'll place it at this same end point here. I'll take it to the other line I put it down, which is this. And I'll move it to this point. I'll call that point A2. I will extend it from this point to the next point. I'll call this point A3. I'll go to the other last point here also. I'll do that. And I'll call there to be what? A4. Now the next thing is that I'm going to project all this one point B, draw a line that will pass through each of these points. So let me take it up. Right? And um, I will start doing that. So from P, passing through A1. From P, passing through A2. From P, passing through A3. And from P passing through A4. Now, uh, these are all what I have here, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do here, after doing all that, is that I'm relating this point, right, to this direction. Now, I will take, take any point from here on this now this is my line here my main line from the beginning let me call it my x right let me say what it is my x x axis this line that is horizontal i'm going to take my set square at any point you can place it here or anywhere you like but because of space i'll place it very close to this so if i place it at this point here hope you can see that i'll draw a straight line faint line like this you can see that so if i do that right if i do that it is now touching this is point here and this is point here is this is point here right then this A here is this point here, yeah. so I'll call it to be my A prime. So that means my A prime to my A to this point here. If you trace it up here, from here back to my A. So I'm going to tick in that particular guy there. So place it from A. I'll tick in it. And you see that? Now the next thing I'm going to do is this. Now what do you notice? I want to get this thickness from here to here, right? 
Now from here to here, if you look at this arc, it's coming here. Now I now projected it to this point here. So that means this is A1 prime here. To this point here is A1 prime. Well, this is A and this is A1. This is A prime, this is A1 prime. Now when I take my compass, I'll place it at A1 prime, right? I'll place it at A prime, take it to A1 prime. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to draw my arc like this. I'm going to draw my arc like this. So I'll have this faint line. You can see that? So it's touching here. So this point is touching, is this point here. So what I will just do is. I will just stick in this from here to here. Can you see that? Now the next one is that if you look at this line, it's moving from here to here. So at this point here, I'm going to extend this out. Just watch and see. Because this point is this point here. But we extend it out. So in extending it out, I will have draw this this way. You can see, just like we are extended here. So I will now move this point, which is this point here. I will move it up. I will thicken it to that point. From here, straight to this point. You can see that, which is from here to here. Now what do you notice? The next guy, which is this, if you trace it down here, this is it here, A2. That means this point here is what? A prime 2. Right? Now, I'll take my compass. Place it at this point here. To A2. Right? And I'm going to draw an arc. To move here. So if you move here, take my C square. Because this point here is this point here. So I will extend it up with my faint line. So this will give me this here. Yeah. So what will I do? I take it from here to here, so I'll take it from here to here. So with the help of this, I'll take it this way. You can see that? Now, the next thing is this other one too, which is this point. This point is this point. I'm going to extend it out too. So with the help of my square I will extend it out too right but this particular guy is moving up to that point right so I'm going to move this to that point from here I'll move it up to this point which is from here to here is that taking I extend it out so I extend it out to get that point now the next thing I'll do is if you look at this point here, this point, right, is this point here. And what did I do? I extend this one out. Why will I know where this will stop? If you look at the end point, I trace it down to this point. I draw an arc to this point, which is my A3. You can see that is my A3. This point here is my A4, right? That is my A4. So I from that my A4 here, I'll call it to be my A prime four. A4 prime, right? So take my compass, place it at this end here, and take it here. Mm? Then I'm going to draw an arc from here to here. Faint line. So where it moves here, I will extend it upward. I will extend it upward, let's see. I'm going to extend it from this point, upward with my faint line. So from here, I've taken it up. Right? Now if you notice it, from here I extended this point to this last point. So from here I will extend it to, work, to this point. With the help of what? My T square. So take the last point, and I'm going to draw this. 
Is that again? Now, if you look at this point also, if you trace it, is this point? What will I do? I will extend it out. So, I'll extend it out with my faint line to reach here. Can you see that? Then I'll take in this from here to here, which is from here to here, and I'll have that. Right? Now, the next thing is this particular guy here. If you trace it down, is here. And um, if you look at it, the trace down here is here, and I draw that is my A3, which is here. So my A3 prime is here. A3 prime. So I also draw an arc from this point here to my A3 prime. So I'll draw that to get here, which I am going to extend up. So in extending it up, to the help of my T square and C square, I'll place it here, and I'm going to take it up with my front line, where it, where it touch here, where it touch here, I'm going to take in it, from here, from here to here, it's from here to here, so I'm going to take in it, alright, now after doing that, I'll just take my compass, and place it at this end I'll take it here right at this end here and I'm going to draw my arc like this to just touch it so this is the shape that we have so if you find this video very helpful don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching